to Autumn Watch now and the race against time to save our native crayfish. Once common, our crayfish are being outcompeted by its invasive American cousin. And on top of that, the American crayfish also has brought with it a deadly crayfish plague. Our environment correspondent David Gregory Kumar reports on the efforts to build up the Midlands population and create secret crayfish strongholds before it's too late. This stream on Cannock Chase is a success story and all this wood has been left here deliberately to provide habitat for the native crayfish and we're here to catch 20 of them. There's one, right on the top there. Oh, wow. We've done surveys here uh, about 10 years ago and we studied before the wood was put in. There was some wood and there were about four per square metre um, that we estimated. Uh, these days when we've done resurveys, we think there's upwards of 15 per square metre. If you actually scale that up, so if this stream is about two metres wide, there's about a kilometre available habitat here, you could be looking at sort of 10, 10,000 crayfish in this one stream. This may be a success story, but all these Canuck Chase crayfish are threatened by the invasive American signal crayfish, which brings with it the deadly crayfish plague. So today we're taking these little fellas off to a new secret location, an ark site, somewhere the American invaders should never reach. We predict that quite a few of these populations will succumb to crayfish plague in time. Very sadly, we predict in 10 years that a lot of these populations on Canuck Chase will disappear. So the idea is to use the, the large numbers at the what we call the donor sites and move some of them up to really remote, isolated headwater streams. But even here, it seems time has run out for the native crayfish because now comes the news that the American invader has arrived here. Very sadly, yeah. We, 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 as I say, we did predict it, but we thought it was going to be a decade or so away. But um, yeah, very sadly, someone has introduced signal crayfish onto Canic Chase and so we're really up against the clock now. Um, this project we started three years ago, um, it's kind of just in time really, just, just to, to make a bit of a difference. But we would have loved to have a few more years just to, 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 to establish more headwater stream populations. Hopefully these native crayfish will establish a new safe population far from disease ridden American invaders and perhaps one day their offspring will help repopulate the streams and ponds of the Midlands. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today. And you can see more from the Autumn Watch team over on BBC Two at 8 o'clock this evening.